Christmas. Lights, decorations, presents, a celebration, and of course, the ultimate symbol of Christmas, Santa Claus. It's a busy time for Saint Nick with all these children and their wish lists. He can't do it all by himself. So, some of Santa's helpers learn how to be Mr. Claus by attending Santa school. Meet Santa Doug. Merry Christmas, young and old! He's here to brush up on his dancing skills, be reminded of how to keep his suit and beard well looked after, and to learn how to be the best Santa he can be. There's so much to remember. And he whistled and shouted and called him by name. Now Dasher, now Prancer, now Prancer. Oh. Today, Doug Craig looks and acts the part of Mr. Claus. His white beard and bright blue eyes make him immediately recognizable. But he played a very different role in the past. It, it was very easy to be open and vulnerable and to be safe in that. Because in my other life, I wasn't safe. I, I had to be on the lookout all the time and I had to keep my eyes open because, you know, it's just shit happens in that kind of business. And it's not nice. You know, and so this gave me a different persona and an opportunity to experience uh, another side of me that I wasn't uh, safe to show in my other world. This Santa used to be in a gang. Well, it was a pretty scary looking person, but, it, it, you know, kids never were afraid of me, just adults. Every Santa needs a Mrs. Claus, and Santa Doug has Anna. She says her husband is perfect for the role because he's so authentic. You know, it's always about the potential of helping other people. And so with his kindness and with his experience and with all this, the, the understanding, he can help children and I can encourage and support that. But long before there was Santa Doug, there was Gang Doug. I met this group of guys that were the same thing, they had the long hair and all of that, and they did the drugs and that, only they were really tough and rugged and got into brawls and that, and geez, I just kind of slid right in with them and they just happened to be a motorcycle gang. Doug was a member of the gang for years. He started as a sergeant at arms, moved to vice president, and then ended up as the gang's treasurer, or what he refers to as the money man. Oh, we'll just go with the murdered guys. Yeah, there's two murdered, two of the guys that got murdered in here. A whole bunch of these guys are dead. Fit like a glove for me, you know. It was a place where I uh, was respected and uh, I was different and my indifference didn't matter. It was unique there. At the time, the lifestyle was attractive to him and hard to get out of. When I was 30, I ended up with a $1,500 a week cocaine habit, bottle of hard liquor a day, a couple of packs of cigarettes. I was busted and charged with trafficking ecstasy and looking at two to five years in prison. And there was a gang war looming where a bunch of my buddies got murdered. And that was it for Doug. Fearing for his safety and the well-being of his children and family, Doug made the decision to quit the gang and start a new chapter. So that's when I began to decide that I needed to make a change. I better go get some education, so I went back to Satan, registered in the business program, and took a, got an honors diploma and BA accounting major. Today, Doug is an accounting instructor at the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology, an ordained minister, certified mountain man, and of course, Santa Claus, a task he doesn't take lightly. I don't want to be an ordinary Santa. I don't want to be. I want to be the best Santa I can be. It's not, oh, this is a, a, a costume I put on or a role I play. It, for me, it's not that. It's I am Santa, and that's it. So when I get that suit on and I get those people looking at me, then I get into this real mystical space. You know, but I just love it, you know. It just is so neat. <laughs> for Doug, the Santa suit represents a break from the past. Different clothes for a different man. And basically, you can't change your past. However, 
What you can do is demonstrate to people that you can change. And I proved it. Santa Doug uses his experiences and lessons learned from his time on the naughty list to help others now. The openness he has with people and the judgment-free atmosphere he creates helps him fit perfectly into his role as Santa. Here's the boys here. The guys that were all in there, the ones that didn't change, all got one thing in common. Now, they're all dead. And there's quite a number of them. I, I, I don't have a lot of judgment because I've done a lot of really bad, rotten things. So I don't look upon people as and judge them that way, okay? Uh, so it's easier for me to see something in them uh, that's there that maybe other people can't see because people are trapped up in that judgment. I tell you, oh, 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 oh. But his past is always present. And like the real Santa, this Saint Nick gets a lot of help from Mrs. Claus, who plans to make upcoming appearances as well at Santa's side. True to her character, in the North Pole or not, she has the utmost support for her Mr. Claus. And having that tone of voice where it comforts the, the people, even the adults, when they see how the tone of voice affects the child, the adult herself or himself comes to, oh, you know, I've never seen a Santa like that before, you know? He's nice, he's not fake type thing, so it comes from the heart. <laughs> From naughty to nice, Santa Doug has learned the importance of being your authentic self, which is especially valuable in his role as Mr. Claus. He channeled his skills from one part of his life and applied them to being the best Santa he can be. You see, the, the gang wasn't all bad, okay, and not all the people in it were bad. Some of them were really straight guys and are pretty good people, and the ones that survived are really good people, okay, now. But yeah, I did come full circle because it, it, it wasn't about being in the gang, it was just about me personally, because the gang was just the, uh, it was just the medium through which I acted out on. Now Doug uses Santa Claus as a way to act out, proving that his past is a great motivator to spread joy to all during the holidays.